What's up guys, Jeff Corns here. We're here in Nokia, Finland at the Beast Disc Golf Course. I'm here with Big Jeremy Culling. What's up guys? We're checking out his newest signature disc, the Heiserbaum Mortar. Let's go throw them, check them out. Let's do it, Jeff. All right, guys, so we just got done throwing the mortar. Uh, we got two here today. We have the orange ones in Frontline X plastic. It's kind of a gummier G-Star-like plastic. And then the blue one's a Luster Recon plastic. Uh, it's a more champion-like stiff plastic. Jeremy, what do you think of them? Well, I mean, uh, when I was looking for the uh, approach disc that would be my go-to approach disc with Innova, I was looking for something that was low profile, flat, um, and could handle a lot of torque for my forehand. Uh, for me personally, I don't have any mid-range discs in my bag that I can't throw forehand and backhand equally. And um, I was really looking for something that could handle a lot of torque but not be so overstable that it didn't actually have a little bit of glide as well. Um, somebody suggested throwing a Star Beatless Gator. And I had um, somebody throw, uh, send one to me in the mail. And they were pretty hard to get because Innova stopped producing them. And uh, when I started throwing it, it was exactly what I wanted. The only problem with it was A, it was hard to get, um, and B, it was, it was still kind of domey. I was looking for something a little bit flatter. Um, and then I guess I just heard through the grapevine that Heiserbaum uh, started making the disc that Innova stopped producing, but they called it the mortar. And um, I was like, well, sure, I'll try that. So Matt Siri from, uh, from Heiserbaum put one in my hand and um, I was out at the Nick Hyde Memorial, and I tried throwing this, this uh, Frontline X, um, which is just like this one here, really gummy, and I was like, well, I'm not gonna really like this, and it was pretty windy out there in Texas. Mm -hmm. And so I was playing catch out there in an open field, and I was throwing it hard with Anheuser, I was throwing it flat, and I was throwing it with Heiser, and I was incredibly, like, instantly amazed a, um, at how it was handling the wind in the headwind. Um, I was putting a lot of torque on it, and I already knew that I liked the Star Be the Skater, but um, I was looking for something that, like I said, was a little bit flatter, and these were flat topped. So these just feel so perfect in hand. That's the first thing that you'll notice when you put one of these in your hand. It feels like it just fits in your hand perfectly. Like you just want to go out there and throw it and figure out what it does. I agree. I really like the beadless feel. It has a nice clean release out of the forehand yeah. especially. Yeah. And just, yeah, it feels great. The, the, the Gator is a, is a great disc for, over, for uh, people who have trouble throwing a forehand um, and want to make sure that it finishes right for their, for their mid-ranges. Um, it's just a little bit too overstable for my preference. And I also am not so comfortable flicking discs that have a bead. This beadless feel to it is just so ergonomic. It just really does fit in your hand. Um, and like you said, there's two plastics, and they both actually do uh, really different things, and that's what's so great about it. That's why both of these are in my bag simultaneously. Um, the Frontline X might be the one that I go to more than anything else, believe it or not. I think that most people, when they grab the Recon, that's the one that everyone's like, oh my gosh, and they immediately fall in love with it. 
but this one actually for me has a little bit more um, use on the course. And the reason is, is because I can put just as much torque on this as I can on the Recon, and it handles it just as well. But the, the, the main thing that really separates the two for me is that the front line really sits. Now, yeah. if I'm looking for some more ground play, the Recon's the disc I go for. Um, and if it's a, maybe a little bit windier, sometimes the, the flutter of the, the Frontline X, the initial flutter, can be um, over uh, exaggerated with the wind. And the Recon might, maybe doesn't have quite as much flutter out of the hand. Um, so if you are clean releasing the uh, sidearm thrower, the Frontline X should be the one that you go with. If you're not as clean, I would recommend the Recon at first. But like I said, this just has a lot less ground play. Like when you throw this thing on hard, hyzer, um, typically what it does is it just sits and it hits the ground. And that's really nice to be able to just go point and shoot and not have to worry about the ground play after the disc hits the ground. Um, but, but they're so good. They're both great in my bag. I, I really, I couldn't have asked for a better um, two runs of discs. I mean, the, these 1.3s, my signature series, I mean, I'm so proud to have my name on this disc because it is truly the best forehand approach disc. I've ever had, um, especially for that overstable feel that you, you, know, you really want that, that, that disc that you can throw hard and trust that it's gonna finish on a hyzer. Absolutely, I completely agree. The Recon one is my personal favorite of the two, I think. I, I'm planning on put it, trying one of these out a little bit more, working with it. I think I wanna put one of these in my bag. I really like the clean forehand. I, I bag a Gator for the purpose of a forehand and having a really overstable mid, but I think the mortar could easily fill that slot. It's, mm -hmm just enough overstable and the beadless feel right. is what I really look for. So I really like these. It's uh, gonna give you that glide, you know, like absolutely. where that gator just cuts out, like we said before, that extra bit of glide, you can throw it on straight lines with a little bit of Anheuser, or you can throw it on those short overstable dump shots that you throw those gators for as well. It's just, it's just not as much hookup. It's, it's a little it's more the right versatile. amount of overstability for a mid range. I agree. So yeah, these are, in stock now, heiserbomb.com. I'll put the link down in the description below. So check these out. If these aren't in stock when you're seeing this video, we hear another one's on the way already, yep. 1.4s. Yep. Um, so go get yourself a new big germ, Jeremy Coling Mortar. You'll thank me later. Thanks for joining us, guys.